this next article, Maxi, take it away. Okay, so my article this week is about, do you see how McDonald's have introduced um, paper straws? Yes. Is yes. that happening in Australia as well? Um, no. Some of them. Some no. of them have started. Have they? Oh. No, not no, where I've got Maccas from. Yeah. I haven't seen any. Me neither. Okay. Well, ever, uh, so Maccas. I bounce between the UK and Norway and everywhere I go in McDonald's have okay. paper straws, which isn't that often, but often enough. Yeah. Anyway. So obviously it's a great for the environment, right? Mm-hmm. Well, yep. actually, switching in the to UK, switching to the paper straws, paper. yeah, yeah. So actually, in the UK, McDonald used to recycle all of their plastic straws, but the way the paper straws are made, they can't actually recycle them. So at the moment, Why? all of their paper straws in the UK are going straight to landfill. But okay, so hang on. So you wouldn't be able to recycle it because it's all wet and soggy. Is that why? Yeah, it says McDonald's says the material are recyclable, but their thickness makes it difficult for them to be processed. Um, so I'm not fully sure of exactly why they can't be at the moment. Like in the UK, basically, they can't recycle, they can't reuse the straws. But in Norway, for instance, they can reuse the straws, oh. the, the paper ones. So like the, the process in the UK at the moment can't accommodate the paper straws. So by moving to paper straws, they're actually going to be adding. It's what is uh 1.8 million straws a year oh no well 1.8 million straws a day in what? the uk what are they saying the paper straws are too thick to recycle to recycle not too th- no not too thick they're saying they're too thin if anything they're too thin they're saying they're too thin and they're in an awkward shape and they're hard to recycle so okay. at the moment but the, if the, the process means they just go to landfill instead but if like they're in like, the land and it's paper. Is that just not going to break down and biodegrade if it's paper? I mean, it still takes a very long time, and it still means you have to dig up a big piece Area. of land, put a load of paper in it, and then fill it over. And if the paper takes up more of that land, that's a bad thing because it will biodegrade in the future. But today, it will be paper still. Man, but, you know, I, but I thought the plastic straws weren't recyclable. The plastic ones. But you're saying they used to be recycled. Yeah, they used to be recycled. It's not the plastic straws themselves weren't necessarily bad. Actually, they were bad in some ways. There's two, there's a double-edged sword. The one producing plastic is um, bad. Like how you make plastic, you need oil and it's quite energy intensive process. And then on the flip side, if it goes recycling, it's good. But most people in McDonald's... They, d- they just put it in the bin. And then it was la- yeah, ending like it up in It doesn't always the... make it. And then that's, that's much worse for the environment if it yes. goes into... The sea. Uh, the sea the sea and which is inevitably where i th- I don't know what the prediction is but straws the reason straws are such a big thing is because they had a significantly higher rate of what ended up in the sea compared to other plastics like bigger plastics get caught earlier mm-hmm. but um straws it's so easy just to like miss the bin and then it just <laughs> ends on the floor yeah yeah it gets blown into a river and yeah then the river takes it down into the ocean and then you eat it in your salmon i mean i still feel think overall the paper one is better because it will end up degrading. Let's see, even if it goes into the ocean, it's probably going to break up and just dissolve. If it, like, it's better if it ends up in the ocean, but if it ends up in like where we deal with... Um, landfill. Garbage, landfill, then it's worse because you can't do anything with it. In mm. the UK, at the moment. So long term, it's going to be better. But short term, it's a bit weird that they made the decision to do it so quickly when basically now they just chuck a load of extra straws in landfill it's, mm. it sucks when you try to do something good and then it just That's doesn't work out yeah. at like they they're trying to clean up the environment yeah and they're trying good. to do their little bit to help and well, it just we me and aiden <coughs> my son went and got a boost juice today which is just like a uh, smoothie place and for the first time it's like please feel free not to take a lid but then I was thinking, oh, yeah, maybe I'll just get one without a lid, right? Um, but I was thinking, okay, my son, he might spill it. But then she didn't even offer me no lid. So it's like they have the option, like they've got a little sign, you know, feel free not to take a lid, whatever, every every little bit helps. But then she just put a lid on straight away, like, and didn't ask. Whereas she just said... Does Boost Juice have a, um, uh, like, a coffee cup sort of situation, like a um, reusable cup? Like, no, you know no. those coffee cups? Oh, yeah, cups? you know, you can buy your own, I think. Yeah, you can and buy. And it's got its own lid, eh? 
Yes. It's like mm. a proper lid. Silicone or something. I don't know. But um, yeah, she just gave it to me. So I was like, oh, okay, well, I'll take it. But if she'd have said it at that moment whilst handing it to me, do you want to go without? I'd have probably said, oh, yeah. Yeah, let's go without. Let's do that. It's it's kind of hard when they put it on on your smoothie already. Yeah, you can't. And just then go, I'm like, oh, well, you've already. It's already. So that's going to be wasted anyway. And then yeah, yeah, no, I'll just take it then because it's got my <laughs> smoothie you, on it. Imagine, like, could you imagine she, the guy, the person takes it off Emma's one and then puts it on the, the next the, one, the, which next is like one. a different uh, uh, smoothie. Uh, what are you, what are you doing? <laughs> <Same> <laughs> what are you that Same one's flavor. got mango and mine is berry. <laughs> <laughs> they cannot mix. <laughs> Yeah, um. mango and berry is good. <laughs> <laughs> I think um, there's a few initiatives in um, in in Sydney where they will give you free coffee if you bring a mug or your key oh, cup. Oh, the petrol station. I think uh, it's... Um... Before that, before the petrol stations, there are places in like Surrey Hills and Newtown and stuff. They go, fill up as many coffees as you want. You just have to bring your own. That's so cool. I actually like the keep cup. We do have a couple... My thing with the keep cup is if you like take it to work or work in the city or whatever and you've used it and now it's dirty and then so if you take it to the next place, will they clean it out for you or are they like no Wash it. bring it to me? Wash it. Wash Where? It. Like say you're on the let's say you're in like on a car journey, yeah. trip, whatever, and you've got because I, I use keep cups, I take one every day and I wash it because we've got a kitchen there. But for someone that's in the um Buy a plastic bottle full of water. And, and just then... rinse it out that way. <laughs> Sorry. Plastic. Sorry. Buy a plastic bottle full of water. Yeah, that's all right. <laughs> oh, I was late to the we party. Can't, we can never get away from it. <laughs> We're addicted to plastic. I mean, what, what is the alternative? Of what? Like, is there, like, you can't have paper paper bottles, can you? Like, what's no. the, what so can after, we? After a while, the water or the drink will just go through it. Glass. Yeah. So what glass is good. Gla- yeah. Go back to glass. But then again, glass is expensive, and in like in a drinking like a bar area, you don't want people to have glass when they've been intoxicated. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Because some like poor the, um, get... it. Bamboo is good. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Sugar cane. Um, and that grows fast. Like bamboo is really good. Um, hemp is really good. A coconut yeah. shell. Can, can you use hemp as hemp and bamboo as a container, like a to replace the bottles? The only thing with yeah, bamboo, it, it won't come in. Like when you think of bamboo, it's not going to be like a bamboo, um, like vine. Yeah, yeah. With, <laughs> yeah. Stuck with something on the bottom, you know, <laughs> to make it a cup. It will be broken down and then repurposed. Like, okay. It will be, yeah, but we've okay. got so a couple. Won't necessarily know it's bamboo. Like you look at me like, what is this made of? It'll feel like some weird composite. You're like, it doesn't feel like plastic. It doesn't feel like it'll feel like a kind of coarse. It almost feels like if you merge plastic and paper together, it will kind of have that. I don't know how. If that Are helps. there companies doing this already? Yeah, for sure. But like, oh. so we've got bamboo, bamboo like bamboo serving room. bowls, and when they get wet, they split. So I don't know. What? 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 We've got okay. some bamboo serving bowls. Oh. Yeah, and when they get wet, they kind of hemp. Split. Hemp on the other hand feels. A lot like plastic, I think, when it's when it's made in a certain way, or when it's thinner, then it feels more like paper. Okay. So you grow hemp, and and uh, uh, actually, I think it's probably going to feel more like paper than plastic. But when it's thicker, it's quite solid. And hemp's like to make paper out of hemp, it uses like about ten percent of what it takes, ten percent of the area that it would take to grow a forest to make the same amount of paper. And it also happens a lot quicker and it also takes more CO2 out of the air and it also produces more oxygen. So it's just like, hemp is amazing, basically, when you compare it to... Hemp is pot. That's, is, that, is that where hemp's from? Pot? Weed? It's the I'm same s- plant, I think, but I don't know yeah. if it's like a different part of it or it's just processed in a different it's way. It's a plant or... that just keeps on giving, doesn't it? Yeah. <laughs> It's just and if you break your bowl, you can smoke it. <laughs> <laughs> Good times on real. What are you doing? Just burning my hemp plate? <laughs> <laughs> what if it on the floor? So smoke time. <laughs> when I was um I remember being like quite young and um my my mum saying like something about I really didn't like doing the dishes. Like I hated it. So I was like, can't we just buy uh, paper plates? And she's like, no, because it's super wasteful. And I was like, well, can't, when we buy food, can't the plate just be part of the food? <laughs> <laughs> and then when we finish the 
you know, finish the food. Just you eat just your plate ate and it. You got no dishes. <laughs> Everything was resource like resourceful. That's sounds, such a good idea. A have you have you been to uh, uh, tropical island Maxi where they use the banana leaves as the plate? Have you ever or been to? And I, I know okay. what you mean. I don't think I've had it myself. No, guys, that's, let that's me clear awesome. something up. Hemp, both hemp and marijuana are varieties of the cannabis sativa, but. Hemp contains less delta nine tetro something or other, which is THC, which is the psychoactive substance in marijuana. So you cannot use hemp as a recreational product. Can you smoke it after you brought no, it? No, because does dry. it doesn't have <laughs> what, the same psychoactive <laughs> substance. I think hemp oil. Hemp oil is different, isn't it? Yeah, and there's clothing that you can make out of. Yeah. Like, but they only recently uh, allowed people to use hemp in Australia in the last uh, six or eight months. Because I was yeah. scared some dumbass like me would smoke it. Well, it's <laughs> edible. It's not, it's it's not hemp is edible. And you're not going to get the same as you would with marijuana is basically what I'm saying. It doesn't have the same But thing. would it have like um, pain, help you, help you, help oh, you pain sure. or anything? There sure. is hemp medicine, but I don't know. Like, pain, with pain management? I, I don't know. Wait, we can't say it's medicine. No, there is hemp medicine. Is there? Yeah. Okay. Why can't you say it's medicine? Because is it because proven? Is it because proven? if it's called hemp medicine, that's its name. <laughs> I, I, I know, no, but I I, I, I thought hemp just recently came in Australia. In Australia. It just came out. I think so. It came out and goes, I'm hemp. <laughs> How are you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm, hey. I'm Moana's cousin. Hey, I'm here t- for a good time. <laughs> hey, you twist my words is incredible, honestly. <laughs> you need a sick mind to think like this. <laughs> yeah. So oh. they are, they're from the same plant, but it's so, no, from the same family, basically. So how thing. do you recycle hemp? Like if we made hemp straws, could that possibly be a thing? I don't know, but you light them up past the hemp. a friend of mine <laughs> posted in the um, recycling Facebook group I'm in for new, like organic confetti, because confetti is one of the worst. Um, yeah, you're telling, yeah. Right. So you get a leaf or a few different leaves and different colour leaves. Why don't you just throw rice? And use a hole punch. And then you just get you just take as many hole punches as you can and then empty the thing and it's all this confetti and you just ooh, and it's just plants. But then it oh. wasn't a green. No, but it's it because you can get like brown leaves, like yes, different but, colour. But fl- when you crack a leaf open, there's like a little bit of like liquid. Like like a almost like a what's that? Like a, a gel? sap? sap. Like, yeah, like a gel. Only if it's like not all leaves, not all the of them. The majority of them. So, like, if you go to someone's wedding and you're throwing up all these you know, <laughs> gel things, I can imagine someone's dress being all green, like stains. Oh, uh, no, because I think you prepare it beforehand, not just like. Choo, 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 choo. So, and besides. It's besi- dried out. Thank you for that. Is that. <laughs> is, uh, can we have hemp straws? Oh, I don't know. Is yes. That, yes? Well, there you go. Yeah. I'm pretty sure. I'll double check. Hemp straws. Pass the hemp to the yeah, left you can, hand uh, side. <laughs> Yes, the, oh, actually, oh there's hemp bedding, there's bamboo straws, but I'm sorry, that's good. One hemp straws, yeah. Morning. So if McDonald's is listening, and I expect you are, um, <laughs> possibly invest in uh, some hemp or bamboo straws. Could you imagine they actually just get the bamboos and then you're just drinking out of this massive bamboo? <laughs> like a panda. <laughs> I like that just like a bit. panda. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how many times you've seen a panda like go, look, look, straw. look at that close. coconut, <laughs> put a bamboo straw in. <laughs> 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 I don't think I've ever seen that. You never know. Those pandas, they're talented. <laughs> Especially that Kung Fu one. <laughs> 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 